If you could tell your college self oh, advice, God. what would it okay. be? Okay. Well, I'm a so semester post graduate. Right. I would tell my college self fucking fail all your classes and stay longer. <laughs> all right. what I would, would absolutely say learn how to balance. Learn how to balance your fun with your academics. And how do you find that balance? If it's a Tuesday and somebody says, let's go out, fucking go out on a Tuesday. Don't ever be scared to skip class for something like more fun. I don't want people to like go out and party and not go to class. We don't know how to in. say it. It's like a finding a balance. Get your education and graduate. You never miss an opportunity to get wasted with your friends. When I was a freshman, I didn't really go out because I was like, oh, there'll be plenty more opportunities. And then like, I just kept saying that and eventually it's like you miss out on really fun stuff. Give my 18 year old self advice. It would be time management. You are used to high school being top dog. You can do whatever you want. It's not how it works in college. Your professors don't care about you. If I did time management my freshman year, if I said, you know what? I should study for this class because I know I'm not good at it. I wouldn't have had to waste my time taking it again when I was a junior. I don't know. I had a pretty good college experience. Nothing Now, great. which is it? You would tell them to live more? Or you had a good experience. Well, I don't know. I feel like I should have lived it up more. I didn't go out as much as I probably should have. I focused on school too much. So I think that's a part of life. You're always, you're always thinking about what you could have done. and. It literally was the fastest four years of my life. Well, mine went really slow. But that's really? because I was hung over 90% of the time. So my <laughs> advice would be don't do it. Well, I mean, it seems like it worked out for you, though, right? Yeah, but it was rough. Just kind of know going in, like, freshman year that it's it, there's going to be uh, temptations. And it's like it's like one, it is kind of like one big vacation for a while. But just know that you are there for a purpose. And Blackout! <laughs> just Black kidding. out till you make out. At this point in your life, you should know how much alcohol you can take. It's not a competition. If someone's taking shots and you can't take a shot, don't do it. Just... Like, you know how much you can drink. Do what you gotta do, but don't take it just because your buddies are taking it. Because at the end of the day, it sucks waking up for it compared to your bed. To be honest, forget college advice. I'm taking that advice for myself. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something I'm yeah. still learning. <laughs> yeah, and I'm still learning too. But, like, if someone sees this and, like, it resonates with them, you know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it helps them. I feel like my answer to that question would be very simple. Yeah, what would that be? Just, like, take things more serious. Because as my dad used to say, you're not on vacation, you're in school. More about, I mean, you got to get a good education, but you do. You got to network. You got to... And go to the library. <laughs> the library should not be a place that you avoid. Freshman year, I was, like, kind of allergic to that place. All those random electives you have, like, art history or They're environmental so science. Meaningful. All these things that we would, like, we would show up late, come over, I mean. No. We wouldn't really pay attention. That's what makes you Now, you if, are. if I go back to college, I would roll up, just chug a cup of coffee, and I would try to pay attention so hard because there's all these facts and things you want to know and learn, and you spend all this money, and you just, like, didn't really give a shit at the time. And yeah. now I wish I cared. It's if you could go back and tell your college-age self advice, uh, what would it be? <laughs> I don't know if you guys would want to get into it. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're actually the third person to yeah. say that. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't have been that bad unless you have kids out there I don't know about. Uh, I don't know about you. You'll get I'll call you jobs back. in the future We're going to by social. not studying and just going out and fucking as many people as you can. It's a great experience. <laughs> How is that going to get you a job? And don't be a huge whore if you have like standards. <laughs> He's talking about himself. But also it doesn't really matter like later. It doesn't matter. Just wear a condom. You do you. That's your time to focus on yourself. Don't take anyone too seriously because it'll all be fine in the year. Nothing's the end of the world. Stressed out about you know to a point where it's making you sick. Don't give a fuck what anybody thinks of you and do whatever the fuck you want because at the end of the day, no one's gonna give a shit and no one's gonna judge you. And if people do judge you, who fucking cares? I had a girlfriend. Huge mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. Let's just look oh left boy. and right. Why would you have a girlfriend? What I would say is let no. go of that high school boyfriend that you keep holding on to. It's not <laughs> worth it. Retweet! By sophomore year, you should be out of that shit. If you're questioning it, there's a reason. Get the fuck out. Grind. Grind as hard as you can. Like, this is your time to grind. Figure out how to live on yeah, that small ass budget. Because like they're really grinding after college. <laughs> no, I mean, for me, I would say I just wish I, like, was more... I just wish I talked to more chicks and had the confidence to talk to chicks. Because I know. Study more. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll tell you what. Go, looking back, I wish I was a female because you hear about those girls. I've heard this on the radio. The Westchester girls. 
paid for their college tuition by sleeping with old men and going on dates with them. I've heard that's that. That's what as you well. want to do. Sign yeah. me the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus if there was Christ. old women that were like, right. yeah. done that high school boyfriend, so you can really like experience <laughs> everything you wanted to experience and like not be yeah. like worried if he's cheating on you, which he probably is. And kiss as many boys as you want. Yeah, retweet. <laughs> as many that. as you want. Retweet? Yeah. You're the second person to say that. What, is, like, love what it. does that even okay, mean? On Twitter, like, if you like, agree with something, you retweet it. Yeah. Oh, like, so like, you're agreeing with what he's yeah. saying. So you are you say retweet. retweet. In a text, like, I get it, but I didn't realize yeah. people say that yeah. in real oh, life yeah, now. Yeah. I'm so right. old. Yeah, I don't know what I have to say. What, you were... That was before the surgery, though. Guy. Oh my god, he's so stupid. So don't be afraid to cut people off if you feel like they're shitty friends and oh, yeah. bringing you down. Don't try too hard to be friends with people. Let it just happen. Yeah, you'll probably never see any of these people again once it's all over. So exactly. only the important ones will stick with you. If you have to chase them around, you, they're probably not the right people to be with. Eventually you find the right people and you don't have to try for it. Don't gain the freshman 15. That's your advice, dude? You will get fat. Like, <laughs> really fat. And it's fine because, like, you're eating shit that's, like, processed. Like, yeah. Let it happen. What Don't get uh, fat, but if it happens, just keep going. Embrace it. <laughs> You'll look back at pictures of yourself and be like, wow, I don't even recognize her. It's fine because, like, that was your fat face. And you had so much fun. You ate pizza every night and you charged on your mom's credit card. You shouldn't have, but you did. Yeah. And I don't know if people do this anymore, but don't junk order Domino's because it's cheap and so gross. What? See, and this. Like, even when you're oh. drunk, just like whip up some tomato mozzarella. Listen, I've been on board with everything you've been saying except for that. <laughs> that was sick. The five, five, five dominoes. dominoes is like yes. the I best know, thing ever. Like, like, they stepped their game up at like the end of college. Yeah, college. and yeah. the cheesy bread. No, it's just like no, their flat breads are actually pretty good. I like All right. Freshman year, I tried to be vegan, and I was at a tailgate, and my formal date was there, and then he was like. You're really weird for eating uh, rolls and just hot sauce. And I was like, yep, totally weird. Yeah. So then I stopped. <laughs> and just embraced me getting fat. Wait, and it was fine. Wait, hold on. Rolls and hot sauce? Yeah, That's because a... I couldn't eat the pulled pork. Because you... You're paying for like the right to get a job, which yeah. is like bullshit. Hey, a lot, a lot of people in college do what they think, like a major in what they think makes the most sense and just to like get like a high salary coming out of school. But like in reality, I think you should like students should like look deep down to what they're really like just love and like pursue that when you open your eyes in the morning don't you want to be like i can't wait to go do this thing today and you know a lot of people you've seen a lot of people that have gone into fields that you know they're not passionate about yeah it's pretty much everyone i know and i feel like 90 percent of people work in something they're not passionate about really yeah most people do a job they don't really like People uh, chase money. Passion doesn't really always equal money. If you're like doing something that you love and making a lot of money, that's like you're so lucky. Right. Like that, that's probably like five, like two to five percent of people, people are actually doing that. I think that's a pretty good estimate. There's like a whole illusion in America that the more money you make, the happier you'll be, and that's like bullshit. We're on YouTube right now. I well, can't talk. I hate my job. I can't talk. So We're on, no, like I'm on YouTube right now. You don't understand. You'll get but here. Uh, the cops are coming for you. Are they pulling you? I literally thought I about to come here. I'm like, no, wait, but I think they? you might want to pop out. Wait, okay. Thank hey, you. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank so, you so much. Subscribe to Driver Ed. He's the shit. Uh, retweet that, right? Yeah. Is that how it works? You know, <laughs>